Now with some very public tension between two of the stars of Sex and the City. Yeah, it turns out that two of America's best friends on TV aren't really friends at all. ABC's Eva Pilgrim joins us with more. Eva, good morning. Good morning. This is a surprise to so many because this once quiet feud between two of Sex and the City stars now becoming a very public girl fight. They were the best of friends on HBO's hit show, Sex and the City. But in real life, Samantha and Carrie are far from. Why is it that we can see our friends perfectly, but when it comes to ourselves, do we ever see ourselves clearly? Kim Cattrall slamming Sarah Jessica Parker for commenting on an Instagram post about the unexpected death of her brother. Parker writing, Dearest Kim, my love and condolences to you and yours, and Godspeed to your beloved brother. Cottrell firing back, posting, I don't need your love or support at this tragic time, Sarah Jessica Parker, writing in the caption, your continuous reaching out is a painful reminder of how cruel you really were then and now. Let me make this very clear. You are not my friend. Stop exploiting our tragedy in order to restore your nice girl persona. Parker defending her actions on Entertainment Tonight. Of somebody in your life, whether you're in touch with them all the time or not, and they are suffering for any reason, it's involuntary that you want to um, convey condolences or sadness or just let someone know that you're thinking about them. <laughs> Despite the laughs and hugs over the years, Cottrell telling Pierce Morgan in October that the women on Sex and the City were never friends. We've never been friends. We've been colleagues. And in some ways, it's a very healthy place to be. Cottrell's recent feud with her former co-star Sarah Jessica Parker sparked over Cottrell's decision against doing a third movie. This isn't about more money. It's not about more scenes. It's not about any of those things. This is about a clear decision, an empowered decision in my life to end one chapter and start another. So that's definitely a no from Kim Cattrall on another movie. Uh, Sarah Jessica Parker has hinted at the idea that they could still do another Sex and the City movie without Cattrall. Right. I know. Yikes. Yeah, I know. Yikes. Everybody's sort of like. Not for now, maybe, yeah. Right, right. We'll see. Thank you, Eva. Thanks. Appreciate it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.